welcome back. This video is the trailer episode. So, as you can see, uh, when you're looking at a boat, first thing you're going to look at is the boat. You're not going to really look at the trailer. The trailer is normally neglected because of that as well. Uh, not properly taken care of, rollers not being replaced, um, just starts to break down, uh, rust will start eating into it. So I noticed the boat was actually sitting further back than it should be on the trailer and I wanted it with proper balance. Uh, so I adjusted the front winch post and found that they did, somebody did a uh, cheap paint job on the trailer. So I started cleaning it. Next thing I know, I'm stripping the whole thing. Uh, so this is the breakdown of everything all the upgrades and so forth I'm doing to this trailer. Uh, here's a look over with it out from under the boat. Uh, and here's everything I did to it. have the axle separated right now. Uh, I've got the uh, axle shaft all cleaned off with all the paint. I'm working on the uh, leaf springs. Gonna get those cleaned up. We're gonna take those off as well. Uh, I'm gonna repack the bearings, get new bearing buddies. Uh, I've got uh, a good start on the, this is actually the bottom stuff side of the trailer and I am part way through cleaning it up I've got a lot of that beam a lot of this beam I'm working on the back side of there and then up at the front I've got a lot but I've still got a lot to go so uh, I've already pulled out all the wiring I'm gonna disconnect my harness or my junction box right there and that way I can get that cleaned up and uh, I'm also going to adjust the chains instead of being mounted here on the bottom I'm actually going to put a bolt straight through cut the chains to equal lengths right there. <sighs> A little work needs to be done. I'm glad I disassembled it. Uh, they look nasty on the other underside. But that's what I have so far. Here is what I have on my ladder so far. Got the bottom rung and the top rung. About to put the middle one in. I'll record me doing that. But uh, let's be so I can get up in the boat. Uh, it's permanent mounted too. Uh, and less than 50 bucks compared to over 200 for some of the regular ladders that you can get pre-made.
So here's a mock-up of the trailer so far. Here's my ladder, all finished. I actually went ahead and leveled the steps. So that way when I actually try to climb up, I don't have to worry about the step being unstable. And then I crank, torqued them down with a uh, uh, ratchet. Just to make sure they were nice tight, won't move on me. Got the lights positioned where they're gonna go. Uh, they aren't actually pushed down in there. So, only have about that much sticking off. Uh, when they're actually put in. I don't have the fenders on right now. Uh, those are over there. They're getting ready for cleaning. Uh, the trailer's about ready for cleaning. I'll just have to dismantle the uh, five inch keel roller. Uh, I'll have the pins for back here. For the eight inch keel roller. And I've got uh, the old one up here. I'll replace it eventually, but it's still in good shape right now. I uh, put some extra washers because that roller is actually not the right size for that. But uh, the, that way it stays nice centered and locked. I don't have to worry about it moving, but it'll still spin. So I have the fenders all done on primer. I got both the underside and the top side all primered up. Uh, just finished the second coat for the top. Uh, it does have two coats each. But then I also have these parts. I went ahead and started the spray. Uh, so they've gotten one coat so far. And then I'll come back, recoat again, get it all finished, and then uh, get the parts flipped over. I'm getting ready to build the bunks. Uh, I've already cut two two by six five foot pieces. Uh, I wanted a little bit larger platform, even though this boat does, probably doesn't need more than a two by four, but uh, it's my trade. Uh, here's the carpet. I got two separate rolls, one for each one. Uh, it's gonna completely fold around and be stapled in. And here are the bunks all built up, all set to go. I just gotta attach them to the brackets that are currently being painted over here. Uh, I know they're hard to see because I painted so much black stuff. But yeah, those brackets, get them all pre-colored and then I'll do touch up when needed uh, after I put them all together. But this way I can get it set up. I can get the trailer set uh, underneath the boat. Uh, set up the bunks exactly where I want them. And then I take the bunks themselves off, paint the brackets with the trailer. Uh, I've already got them cleaned up with acetone. Uh, and all the oils and, and everything from the galvanizing are cleaned off. So it's all set to go. I fitted my drill bit with some tape. Uh, that way I know exactly how deep I'm gonna go and I already know how far off the back of the trailer that I want the bunks to sit about one inch past the end of the rail So that'll put it at with this being a two inch bar and I'll put it at roughly three inches back and That's where I'm gonna sit the back bracket
moving the trailer into position, get the bunks lined up. That way I can tighten down the base brackets and then I'll take the bunks back off uh, after I pull the trailer back out. Getting it back on the trailer. Uh, go ahead and test out the bounce ladder real quick. See how everything sits. And then we'll get her back on the stands. There's the bow ladder. Another of my added items as well. What this is gonna be for is storage for a cable that I can pull out from here, bring up and plug in uh, for DC charging off the truck. So that way I already have the box set up, I have it painted. Uh, it's gonna actually have a clear cover. It goes over like so, it keeps everything dry and it's tall so everything will fit in there real nice. I don't have to worry about shoving the cords in there real tight. Thank you.